remember that just in case uh, our guys drop it. A lot of fun out there, the Sri Lankans. There's McCullum and uh, BJ Watling are out there in the centre as well. This uh, Royal Stag Mega Cricket Cup Series. It's another uh, damp, limp start to it. So we, uh, fingers crossed, lucky that we're getting some play. So uh, when the clouds rolled in, that rain was starting to come down. The ground staff, very busy. Clouds started to roll away and they got busy taking the covers off. So we have uh, the great news we have for you. It's, uh, McCullum is going to be on strike. It's, uh, looks like it's going to be big Casara uh, Pereira at the other end. So we've got a dozen to his name. And Orman uh, Williams. And, uh, tap of the uh, bit of gardening. Here's uh, Pereira. And he's just going to have a little trundle. First time for him in this uh, third one down the national. So, uh, revised to the playing conditions, 48 overs aside, mandatory power play, first nine overs, so they're all gone. Okay. And uh, batting power play is still at five overs. So here comes Pereira. And there goes McCullum with a hand off the blade. Single down to third man. Gentleman alongside me from Colombo hasn't gone back there. Michael, you're still here, and uh, yeah, I'm good to see. Well, it could be a uh, costly one. Got a single as well. Watling shows off strike. It's Brennan McCullum. Ah, that's a big shout. A good shout, yeah. Got too far across. Just for the first time, naked eye. Looked like McCullum got too far across, and that's what Dharma Cena, the umpire from Sri Lanka, said in there came the index finger to the heavens. Well certainly Matt is making up for that drop catch. Very next ball. Yes, Matt is good. Ooh. That could have been sliding down leg side. Very, very close one. To see what a neutral behaviour here is Michael De Zoysa, but he's gone anyway for unlucky 13, Brenna McCullum. It's uh, 2 for 31. The inside of his camp were digging a big hole. Incredible. He's got both these players that are still out there. And the LBW. Okay, this is uh, going to be four. Plus if Malinga can't get round, it's a thick inside edge that races to find there. Boundary is very welcome for New Zealand at this point in time. And maybe he played a genuine leg glance. Uh, went very fine and Marlinger just couldn't get there. Well, there's trouble here if he hits me. Nick Taylor in trouble. They've gone upstairs and the New Zealand skipper I think is in trouble here. It was a risky run. He took the ball along and I'm pretty sure he'll find he's short of his ground. He's already started to walk off because he knows that uh, he is, after all, well short of his crease. Mendes aimed at the stumps very well short and uh, look at Ross Taylor. He was reaching, he was struggling, but that's not the start New Zealand wanted. And that's exactly what the Sri Lankans wanted. Get rid of the Kiwi captain. The third umpire confirms that Ross Taylor is, after all, run out. Big wicket. Gone for seven. 43 for three. But this was a big wicket. Oh, this was not necessary. Look at that run out. Over wicket. Ross Taylor knew about halfway down. That's a great piece of fielding. Got to say that from Mendes. Very quick. And look at the turn and throw. He did really well. Because Taylor is quick, but not quick enough out. And be nice and positive. Look for boundaries and put some pressure back on Sri Lanka. Well, Taylor was the man to do it. Looked to be in such good form. Be. That has to be. That was unnecessary. What was Jacob Odom trying to do? And how many balls has he faced? And uh, well, that was the quicker one hurried on. Well, it's a good piece of bowling. You're going to question the option taken here for more. Pitch 
in line. It was an outside leg stump. It's outside leg stump. No doubt I would have hit the stumps. It was the googly. And it's pushed the outside leg stump. So all will consider himself unlucky. He's gone for two. He's on 49 for four. He's done a really good job getting some turn and bounce from this wicket. Oh, that's a good uh, slot sweep. Gets it to the mid-wicket boundary. Back hitting it in front of square, over mid-wicket. That was given a bit more air by Mendes. Attempted googly and well read by Watling. Hitting it with the turn. A yeah, very safe shot. A little bit more air from Mendes. And it's a shot that BJ Watling enjoys. Yes. Now, this is a clean shot. Very good shot by Franklin. I think he read it off his arm. The Rangana Hera tends to bowl that cannon ball or the arm ball. But Franklin read that quite well. Gave himself room and hit it over mid off. Good blow from Franklin. Gave himself some room. Picked his spot. Nice shot down the ground. Just what was needed. Nice piece of timing too. He is a good hitter of the cricket ball, Franklin. New Zealand need him to get going. Just the four boundaries in the 21.5 overs so far for New Zealand. That's fine. That will run down to the boundary. So back to back boundaries to end the over. Uh, six and over from here on in. He gets to uh, <coughs> excuse me. close to uh, 150. Oh, that's a good shot. Lifting it over the infield, finding the gap between long arm and deep mid wicket, and four to Watling. Yeah, well, uh, maybe that uh, accelerator's just been uh, asked to be pushed a bit more. Just a little shimmy. Nice bottom hand involved. Yeah, six and over, say 150, but you've got to get more than that. You just do. Modern game and uh, wielding of the willow. Low source bowling very effectively indeed. Oh, that's a lovely cover drive from Watling. Shot of the day. Absolute beauty. And all Taranga can do is uh, watch it sail by. Yeah, by no means a half volley. It's, uh, Classic cricket stroke. A bit of width, through cover, and uh, the desired result. Beautiful to watch. Now you and I, uh, Mugas, we're discussion off here. Uh, Stratish mid-wicket. Bowler certainly was uh, very exciting. Oh, that's a lovely pickup from Franklin. That's gone all the way. Effortless. Just hooked in on its way. The 100 up, 50 partnership, and the first six of the day, and it goes to James Franklin. Jimmy, I'm liking that blade more and more. Just a little flick. Good seam position, but it's uh, right out of the fat of that bat. And it is a good looking piece of willow. As you say, Moog, is effortless. Just a little flick out of the fat. And thanks for watching D.I. Gower play flick shots like that. Bowl in! Looking to be aggressive once more, Franklin. But Pereira, rather uh, pull a saker up. Bang on target. Well, he just pumped up James Franklin. Playing some good orthodox cricket strokes. Sensible stuff. He decides to go across the line. It's cost of his wicket. Gone for Increasingly impressive innings this from BJ Wadling. Had to be aggressive in the latter stages of it. Gets it to extra cover, picks up the single, and that's a half century for BJ Watling. It's his third consecutive one day international 50 against Sri Lanka. 70 balls, four fours. Just uh, part of the progression for BJ Watling. Opportunity. And he's uh, grabbing it with both hands. 50. Right when it matters. 
characters that uh, ticks a lot of boxes in the air and gone miss it try to go over the top it's not in his nature Kane Williamson and he's 